I'm Shawnee Batchman, staff reporter for the Columbia Chronicle with the Media Hub Minute. Dream Chicago is encouraging students to write postcards to themselves and others as part of its Feed Your Dreams pop-up experience. Dream Chicago is a nonprofit organization that helps create opportunities and connects aspiring artists to people who have reached their same career goals. They have partnered up with various Chicago schools, libraries, churches, and art centers. And they've also teamed up with social programs like Aunt Martha's. Through building connections and community art events, they hope to make people feel that their dreams are achievable. Dream Chicago has visited three times this semester and plans to come back to Columbia Student Center soon as they have a partnership with the Wellness Center. Staff members in the United Staff of Columbia College Union have authorized union leaders to call a strike if a contract agreement can't be reached with the college. 74% of US of CC members took part in the strike authorization vote with 94.9% .9 voting to authorize a strike. Voting started on Monday, October 18th and continued until 1159 on Friday, October 22nd. The Columbia staff has been working under the terms of an expired contract and they haven't received a collective raise in more than three years. President of the U.S. of CC, Craig Siegel, says Columbia's most recent offer did not include retroactive pay that will make up for the years without a pay bump and help staff catch up with cost of living increases. Union leaders say Columbia, the college, offered a 3% pay raise for 2021 plus a 2.5% pay raise for 2022 and 2023. Membership chair of the U.S. of CC, Matthew Rilly, says that this is lower than the initial demands made by the union. The college's special counsel for labor relations, Terrence Smith, says the two sides signed an extension of the old contract that includes a no-strike clause. He said the union would have to give the college and the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service notice of an intent to strike or be in violation of the agreement. Negotiations between the two sides are ongoing. I'm sure you've seen some of Barbara Kruger's work promoted around the city as her exhibit is now on display at the Art Institute. Some of her work shows white words highlighted in red on top of black and white shapes and images. The words on the images pose messages that reflect issues that are prevalent today. One of the messages reads, your body is a battleground. The exhibit has been labeled an anti-retrospective of her work that exposes the power dynamics of identity, desire, and consumer habits. Kruger rethinks some of her older works and translates them through the use of modern technologies. Adjunct faculty member, Margaret Denny, from the photography department, calls Kruger's exhibit radical and overwhelming in a good way. The exhibit will remain in the Art Institute until January 24th, 2022. You can see this exhibit and others at the Art Institute for free with your Columbia ID. With the Media Hub Minute, I'm Shawnee Batchman. Thanks for watching.